So, uh, good morning, Mr. Sokol, and uh, thanks you for having you here. Uh, Mr. Sokol, you are uh, one of the renowned uh, uh, architects in uh, Cambodia, and you are also, you know, one of um, a person who we are, who is very enthusiastic um, in preserving uh, Khmer, you know, uh, vernacular Khmer wooden houses. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, you have uh, written plenty of books mm -hmm. uh, in a sense of uh, documenting uh, Khmer wooden houses and you know, all the ways that it is uh, being made, being preserved, uh, and also um, the normal life of people inside their houses for many, many hundred years. Mm -hmm. And, um, but at the same time, you know, because of modernization and all of, you know, all of the uh, more affordable material, um, I just want uh, you, I just want to know from Sir that um, why wooden houses in particular are not famous in Cambodia as before, Sir? Uh, yeah, uh, we have a long history about the country go uh, went through many period colonial from independent and from you know later popo regime and now uh, the lifestyle and the standard of uh, living of the villager is slightly a little bit changed from traditional we compare 100 years ago about residential housing farming agriculture especially recently 100 years the car society i mean uh, the global not only in the country uh, the world chain be, be a lot between uh, uh, transportation by boat or by you water or river uh, uh, transportation become a, a road, a car, mm -hmm. road, or vehicle, or motorbike, etc. That is a lot of changing of the traditional of uh, Khmer residence or and the way of how people living uh, be from 100 years or 200 years, 300 years before and so on till now. And beside that, the population in Gree and uh, city in Gree and, you know, people need uh, land to be, uh, to living and the forestry and the planting or plantation of the timber for housing and uh, residential is less and less and at the moment we are concerning of uh, left vote for oh. building the house and but instead of that the uh, new material like brick concrete or steel or iron bar or structure steel structure coming to replace of course it, it, it can replace but not not full replace uh, because traditional wooden house it need to have uh, you know uh, the pillar can replace by concrete but yes the wall panel or the shape or the clay rutai we should be keep maintained oh. to look with the you know the the identity of the the yes. how must be it has own style own identity and own tradition of itself so you mean like uh, the outside skin should at least resemble the the old fashioned way uh, it's not mean the our skin like they, they is quite old, but example yes. you see the pediment and yes, the, the thumb and honestly or originally it in wood, but later on when we have a uh, we call uh, lime mortar and concrete mortar that we can uh, mix with uh, sand and we can plaster. And now, like the uh, pediment, uh, we use brick and uh, lamb mortar to make a, a, oh. a style of carving instead of wood. Oh. But we look the same style uh, yes. uh, wood, but this is inspired a little bit modernized using French colonial style that use the motif of flower and mortar. Yes, sir. And uh, at the same time, uh, sir, um, I mean, during the present day, there is a movement, as you may know, uh, but not everyone does it, but at least uh, there's like a, a, a noticeable movement of that. So, especially in provinces, villages are starting to build brick and concrete houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, in cities, or also, you know, uh, let's say, uh, more privileged people in cities, mm -hmm. uh, they, they begin like 
moving back to wooden houses and you know luxury one and something like that so uh, from uh, uh, an architect point of view sir i mean do you find that opposite movement uh, interesting i mean does it feel does it make you feel something like in particular sir it's not i mean uh, a desire, desire like backward or something like that but the young the young blood or the young generation of villagers they enjoy very little with their ancestor their parent uh, family living like in a wooden setter or wooden house or like a farmer but at the moment education and you know studying and working it demand to move to the city life like we, they, they go to a city for ed higher education and something people learn what something is new oh. and the, the new not only the new about the knowledge or business or working but including the lifestyle of uh, changing too because um, instead of go to the right field but now they go to the factory the office. to do to office yes. <laughs> for business uh, everything it changed from uh, farmer living in a nature fresh air with the aircon when you go to a high density of people in Phnom Penh or in the city people need aircon and you mm. know car and need more so the lifestyle change so it demand to modernize to suit what they are wanting and they need so it means they go a little bit far from tradition of course, from the lifestyle of their parents and to their generation, completely not the same. Yes, sir. So, we cannot preserve the young generation must live the same their no. parents. Mm -hmm. But, yes. of course, we have own culture. We, at least, uh, education is more important to the young generation that to understanding that who he come from or something at least when they understanding they are not go far much uh, mm. we expect yes. to modern by forgotten tradition yes sir and uh, you said just now uh, specifically uh, you said oh, let's say uh, the younger generation does not want to learn like the uh, that's what does not want to leave like the older generation anymore uh, because they need to move to the city and you know uh, densely packed uh, places need aircon and concrete is also good for aircon. But at the same time, sir, I mean, during uh, let's say holiday, people still want to come here to relax, recreational activities. So, do you see wooden houses? Uh, will there be a future for them in recreational activities, sir? There is the good hope that uh, the identity from their significant or their Ancestor, I mean, at least uh, the weekend, a holiday period, they feeling to go to their hometown mm, to yes. enjoy family and something. It means at least they open mind to adopt it, uh, what the, their parents or hometown or home village environment look like. And I'm sure they miss because uh, at the moment when you look in the city during Khmer Yuji or during Phnom Penh or something, you see the, the city almost 90% uh, yes, quiet, empty. Yes. Yes. More or less 80%, 90% they are going to their hometown village to enjoy what they are missing or they, they, can, they can enjoy but not too much maybe. <laughs> three days per year or five days or ten days per year maximum or something. But that is the good idea that uh, they are not forgotten what is their hometown look like, feeling yes. and something. But of course what the problem today is the young generation cannot live, I'm sure 100% mm. cannot live with that electricity. Yes, sir. While our parents in we build on coal or etc thousand years or no electricity but people can living can build a house can build a temple can do farmer can cook but yes, of course sir. i'm sure young generation now cannot live with the car with the electricity or with the 
high tech of you know uh, mobile yes. phone or wifi yes. that is the one of big chain for the world for not, not only in the company yes, yes. the world the chain world, yes, and yes. Cambodia are part of the world yes, that yes. It, it must be chain but and not not yeah. bad because everything chain we have to go to to, to according to, to what, the, to what the world to yeah the future, yes but the that I mentioning that education is important at least the young people should know where they come from and yes, and then they when they are understanding and they know and they they sure that they are Cambodian they act like a Cambodian they must know not lie about tradition but at least a part of that they understanding where the Cambodian located and we are in tropical with you know wet season or more hot all the year and then people have to understand it and living with this climate well yes sir and at the same time sir uh, the houses behind us over here uh, as i was informed it was taken from Groland, mm-hmm. uh, in 2008 which is a uh, uh, more than t- uh, 10 years ago mm-hmm. and uh, the houses uh, as I was informed again um, it was n- not you know I mean the original wood or you know every every place is in the house I mean some some decayed wood they are replaced away so I mean for you sir I mean even though you take new material and mix it to the house mm-hmm. do you feel that it is still an old house to you sir or do you feel like something oh this place is still new, so it takes time to be old, or something uh, like that. So. I, I, I feel uh, not interrupt in my mind, because uh, this house is a uh, we bought in 2008, and yes, we're moving and install here in 2010, and... Uh, the original part of the house, 80% original. I replay around uh, 20% or 25%, it's, it's especially basement with a new uh, with bridge. We call new bridge and uh, basement and uh, uh, column footing. But this material is not far that never used in 100 years ago. Mm-hmm. It's very common using in 100 years ago the same material, but I just put the fine material combined oh. together to make this more functioning and more comfortable and more look uh, uh, better for mm. my feeling. Sir. So uh, more or less it is still feel very good for you, sir? Yeah. Yes. And uh, one more thing, sir. Um, a bit outside the border. As I may know, uh, Japan, they are very good at preserving wooden architecture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything that we can learn from Japan, for example, uh, you know, because they are very good at that? Like, is there any specialty that, you know, we, we can uh, learn from them? Uh, at the moment, uh, the technique, we, we, we read the book, we compare the book, yes, but sir. the technique of the joining or how to uh, Japanese people building the houses and Khmer people building the houses is not quite similar oh. and also wood that uh, exists in uh, Japan and the wood existing in Cambodia also not the same oh, okay. kind or the same type of wood too so in generally they said uh, we can say uh, very popular in Japan about wooden houses and in Cambodia, wooden houses, but the houses in Cambodia and the houses in Japan completely different. Even the technical of joining or, or wood joining or how to put wood together, even the roof structure or the shape of building, because we are in different location in the world. In Japan, is uh, in a cool country. It's up in uh, north, it's far north, almost, uh, you know, uh, to... To the Arctic. Yeah, so. to the Arctic, very cool. Yes. And in Cambodia, very close to Ecuador. It's oh. very hot. Yes. And humidity. So, traditional Cambodian wooden house is all, not mostly, almost all built on steel, right from the ground, oh. to make humidity, airflow, 
and the wall is lighter than Japanese then, oh. house because the Japanese cool it had to have yes. double layer of wall insulation and, yeah, yeah insulation yeah. sliding or door because of uh, population too high and people need small space but more uh, mobility, thinking more, yes. more mobility, more, more thinking how to practice with the uh, uh, space. And in Cambodia, still have plenty. So when we have wooden house, we have larger property that make enough airflow underneath easily. So in general, uh, uh, Asia people are China, uh, Japan in Asia, but one Asia, but close to Ecuador and yeah, one, one Asia close to uh, Arctic uh, Ocean and in, in different. It's so different. we can compare but not totally. Sir. Not totally. Not, not, not totally. totally, yes sir. And my last question uh, to you sir, um, do you have any other plan to uh, to preserve the Khmer wooden houses uh, in the future? At the moment not really, uh, not yes, really sir. because uh, uh, preserving the wooden house is a kind of uh, Oh, difficult too, and the craftsmanship mm. and master carpenter is very rare and rare. And beside that, uh, the client who really want to preserve a uh, 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 old traditional wooden house for living or some enjoying for weekend house or something, it's very rare to find mm. a real yes, people sir. like that. So it depends to the challenge. Is a, a, a good challenge or good occasion or good timing together? Maybe I insist to do one or two project more. But it's it's not coming. I'm not hope much because uh, uh, recent recently uh, three year with COVID, I I know that uh, not so many people thinking how to preserve the wooden house instead of building new that they need to live uh, because the preserving is not mean they really need to live but they need to maintain, maintain. to keep tradition or to enjoy to keep the heritage to live for 50 years, 100 years so on to more and also to keep record yeah. to make books yeah. yes. So uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Sokol, and uh, we will uh, in the next interview we will be uh, focusing more on that house, okay. about the origin and yeah. how it is okay. here. Thank you, you sir. Can see yes, sir. Not, not under.